any like little break any like any stories anyone do something like to share i feel like it's like a group thing anything to share with the group <laughs> david newton's got the uh, whole summer catalog done mm. you know me? Not much. I was in, uh, oh, I see how you kind of transitioned to the interview real quick. That was good. We were about to have a good, we're going to have to, but uh, not much. I was in, uh, I was back and forth um, a lot of time out in California, some time out here, but um, it's working out, getting ready for for the year. Now, now it's here. You may have posted this and I probably missed it, but did you get guys together, you and Andy, and how did that go and where was it? Yeah, uh, we were out in California, um, but it was good. It was good to get some reps. Uh, you know, it was. It's always good to just be able to come together, get a head start, um, and then it's all to transition to what we're doing now. One of the things we saw pretty recently in the, in the off season was the opportunity you had to speak with Cam Newton. It's an interesting dynamic, given the two of you have many similarities here. What did you take away from that exchange? Yeah, um, I've had I've had a, a couple of exchanges with, with Cam. We've we've talked multiple times, and um, you know I'm I'm grateful for um, you know for just yeah, obviously he's been here. He's done great things here. So I've I've tried to pick his brain about some things, and um, you know I'm I'm grateful for for his support. I'm grateful for him. Obviously, still caring so much about the organization, about the city. Um, so yeah, that's someone obviously growing up, I, ha I have a ton of respect for now, I had a ton of respect for growing up, love to watch and play. Um, so just anytime I get to ask questions and um, we've we've had a couple of conversations, so that's been great. Is there a, I'm sorry. Can you give me any advice? What do you say? Did he give you any advice? Yeah, just keep working. Um, just um, again, he, he loves the city, loves the organization. Um, and uh, just to, to know that that's something that, you know, we're all striving for the same thing, um, but just to continue to work, continue to, to grind the same way. Um, and, you know, that's definitely something I'll take to heart. He said when you were in an interview, he said he'd been to where you've been before. Um, what exactly did y'all you take from that and, and what did he tell you to help you realize that there is a bright future maybe for you? Yeah, just to, to keep your head down, obviously, um, you know, when you're in the moment, um, whether it be last year, honestly, anything in, in life is easy to get caught up in that. And then, you know, obviously now someone like Cam's career, you look back on it and, um, you know, all you think about is, you know, you think about the MVP, you think about all the great things he did. Um, and just like anybody, any person in life sports, you know, there's ups and downs. So um, just to, to persevere, to push through things. Um, and, you know, obviously you want to be invested in where you are, where your feet are and be there, but um, know that through ups and downs, just to keep working. Bryce, last year you proved you could take a hit or two. Uh, you look bigger this this uh, this summer. Um, how do you feel entering a training camp? Feel good. Um, feel good. I'm healthy, which is a blessing. Um, and you know, again, trying to do everything this off season. Same thing through OTAs, um, physically, mentally, to to get prepared for the year. Are you bigger? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm I'm not a big like step on a scale every every uh, every day type of person. So honestly, like I didn't know what I. I don't know what I weigh at now. I didn't really know what I weighed at before. Um, so um, I don't know, but I, I, I try to work out, you know, for my job, so. <laughs> Bryce, you've, you've had this success in college where you've been in the playoffs and, and championship games, and last year you were going through the draft process. So you really haven't had like a full normal off season in a pretty long time. How different was this off season from a step-by-step -step standpoint getting to here? Yeah, it was really different. It's by far the longest time that I've had off. Um, like you said, you don't really have that um, throughout, and especially you know now not being done with school, being um, having like a long extended period of time. Um, so it was interesting navigating that. Um, talked with a lot of other players, with with coaches, people who have been with a lot of NFL guys, and just to map out a plan, just because it was something I wasn't used to. But um, I'm glad with how the offseason went. Um, I felt like I had good structure, good plan of, um, you know, trying to crescendo and end up in the best spot at this time, uh, which is how I feel. So um, it was it was something to definitely navigate, but I'm happy about the process. With that in mind, how much does that change your mindset coming into training camp this year versus last year when it was your first camp and you were still learning everything? Yeah, um, I think it's – it's you just have a little bit, I guess, more of, of what to expect. Obviously, last year I'd never been through a training camp, didn't know how the league was, um, so it was definitely a, just a sense of trying to figure out what's going on and where where am I supposed to be. Um, now, obviously, I've been through one, and um, you know it'll be different this year, different setting, different um, staff, but um, just knowing a little bit more what to expect it gives you a little more comfortability. Was there anything from your off-season workout that you were most proud about, or that made you feel like it really prepared you for this upcoming season? Um. 
for me, I, I really just try to be consistent. Um, and that's kind of just a kind of a theme for me, um, not really just an off season thing, but um, I want to be consistent in my routine. Um, obviously, when you're you're not man, it's not mandatory you do stuff or, you know, you don't have to, you know, there's no one checking or anything out if you don't go through whatever you're supposed to. Um, it can be easier, but um, I thought I did a good job of sticking to the plan that I was able to create with the people around me um, and trying to be consistent with that. A lot of idle time, and with that idle time, people were analyzing videos, looking at different throws from minicamp and OTAs, footwork. Do you feel like any parts of that part of your game have changed? Was that like a, was that like a like a media thing? Was that happening a lot in like? For real? Yeah, oh. footwork, arm strength. <laughs> are, can you make the deep throws? You know, I know that you look at your game as a whole, but are those different areas that you feel are a little bit different? this year as opposed to last year? Um, I think there's for sure some differences in our system. Um, again, for me, it's trying to do everything I can to execute um, for the system, and it's a different system this year. So there's some different stuff uh, footwork-wise that we didn't do last year. There's different philosophies with, with things. Um, so um, I think there's a lot of similarities. There's differences as well. Um, and really, it just all stems from um, you know what we're, we're being coached to do this year. You What's seem more you... comfortable, relaxed to me. Do you feel less pressure? going into the second year um you know honestly i i feel like i wouldn't say any more or less um you know i think that for me there's always like an urgency there's always a sense of um of wanting to be the, the best that i can be the best that we can be every day um and that's definitely something that uh, i don't want to lose and i want to make sure we're, we're at um and i don't feel like for me um I guess there's, I don't look at it as, as pressure um, from outside things. I think really for us, it's making sure we can be the best we can be every day and then accomplish our goals throughout the year. And that's a big picture thing. Um, and it's not something that's really gonna, gonna change. We can't get that done tomorrow. We're not gonna be able to get it done next week. It's gonna be a, throughout the year. So um, because of that, um, I try to keep my focus on just the, the small stuff, what I can do right now. We have meeting in however many minutes, trying to make sure we're locked in for that. I'm locked in for that. Um, so I think kind of just, that's kind of the mindset, and because of that, you don't really feel, uh, I don't really feel the over, like this, the overhanging pressure, or whatever it is that it may come from the outside. Um, so I guess that's kind of my approach towards it. I want to ask you one other thing on Cam. When he says he's been where you are, he was offensive rookie of the year, as, even though the record wasn't great. So I'm just wondering, was he really where you were, or were you in a much much different place than he was and how to, how can he help you with that? Yeah, well, obviously I don't want to speak for him and everything that he's been through. Obviously he knows his life a lot better than I do. Um, but also there's a lot more aspects of life. I know him. I know that he's a competitor. I know that he's a winner. I know that uh, for him the most important thing was winning in the same way it is for me. Um, and my assumption is that that's where it came from. And also that's not the only aspect. There's a lot of other aspects of life, of things that, um, you know, so a lot of similarities we've gone through on and off the field. Um, so again, don't want to speak towards for, for him or exactly what um, it is, um, but there are a lot of things that, um, again, he's, he's given me guidance on that he's been made himself available to me for, which I'm very grateful for. Um, and just being able to, to, to have that uh, definitely, definitely means a lot. So it's been it's, it's six straight seasons where the Panthers haven't made the playoffs. I mean, how much is that talked about in the locker room among players? And yeah, I, um, yeah, um, you know, not at all uh, for us. Um, again, I'm true, yeah, fact, um, but that's not something we can, one, control, and also it's not going to, um, obviously not going to gonna help us, going to have any, uh, I think everyone in the league knows it's every every year things change, you know, and for us, we're just focused on us earning the right to, to, to get to where we want to be, to accomplish our goals, um, and again, whether we won a Super Bowl last year or whatever happened last year happened, it's not going to really help or hurt us this year. We have to do everything we can. In this league, you got to earn it every season. Um, so it's all we're focused on. Bryce, you say, Bryce, you say accomplish our team goals. What are the team goals? Yeah, um, you know, for us, really, that that's something that uh, we've talked about and, and touched on a little um, that, you know, we'll, we'll keep in house in OTAs. But um, I think that it's something that we are going to exemplify and, and really come into our own and during this process. Um, you know, I think it's this is a big time about making sure that we have tangible goals, that we um, create our identity. I think that's, uh, you know, kind of what, what, what training camp's about. Um, so I think throughout this process, it'll be a lot more detailed in, in hammering that stuff out and making sure that, you know, we can really come into our own uh, during this time.
Yeah. Last off season, you had a lot of uh, injuries on the offensive line throughout the off season, throughout the summer. You weren't able to get with Austin until midway through the season. I'm just curious, how, what does it mean to have those five guys that are in front of you throughout this entire off season as you guys progress together? It means a lot. Um, I'm, I'm definitely grateful uh, for us all to get those reps together. Um, everyone being healthy right now um, and just the more time we get to spend together on the field as a unit it's going to um, pay dividends throughout the season um, you know obviously you know how things play out is how things play out but right now having the the foundation we do um, it's great so we got to take advantage of it and, and make sure we keep building during the training camp Talked something cool about you guys did off the field when you were working out in cali with the guys sorry what's it uh, off the field when you were working out with the guys in Cali? Uh, went to an Angels game, which was a fun experience. Uh, got to go see a couple things, meet the team. So, um, yeah, that was that was, that was was one thing. We talked thing. about being, a, I mean, getting into a routine. Uh, does having training camp here in Charlotte help you get into that routine sooner? Does it, does it, is it beneficial in that way? Yeah, um, you know, I definitely support, um, you know, the, the decision from upstairs to, to, to keep us here for, obviously that was probably one of the reasons of, um, you know, making sure that there's, there's synergy here. Us, we're here during the season, being here in the off season. So I'm grateful for that. Uh, obviously, Wofford had, has a ton of tradition and was a great experience as well. Um, so, you know, I think we're all definitely going to miss certain things about it. But, um, you know, being here, I think it, again, it's where we play our games. It's, um, you know, we're practicing the same spot, being able to be in the stadium when we are. Um, so definitely um, support that. And, you know, for us, where it is is kind of just, you know, it's just where it is. Um, what we do with, with the time we have here, that's really what, what matters. So that's where our focus is. So the practice field upgrades. It looks great. Um, it, it looks great. Um, it's super exciting. Uh, that was my first time seeing it today. So um, it, was, it was really cool. Bryce, statistically, uh, your, the receivers last year kind of had trouble gaining separation. I think it's part of the reason the uh, front office went and got Deontay and Xavier. Could you see a little bit more of that in the spring, or will that be something that's a little more clear to see in these practices and preseason? Um, you know, I think that, you know, obviously we get more reps, more opportunities in training camp, but it, I think it's already evident. I'm super grateful for, um, you know, for the receiving core. Uh, that we have. I'm super excited. Uh, group of great guys, great competitors. Um, you know, I think we, we're all on, on a mission to, to you know, to, to be as good as we can. Um, so, you know, naturally we get more reps here in training camp. We get more opportunities, um, more periods. So um, I think uh, set a good foundation in OTAs and now it's on us to keep building through that. Without obviously giving away the playbook and that sort of thing, is there a, a concept or an area of this offense that you really have kind of said, all right, this could be pretty cool, this could be pretty fun for what I do and what the offense and how the offense can function? Um, yeah, I think just really the, the, the scheme mirrors that we've, that we've had, um, you know, you, we can see the, the direction early on. It's something that I think we all have kind of talked about in the locker room. Um, just the way stuff was installed and from day one to day two to day three, seeing that, that direction. Um, obviously, we, um, there's, you know, we have to create our own identity. And again, I think that'll, a lot of that will, will come in training camp. Um, but the stuff that we have and then the marriage on top of that, um, uh, just seeing that direction is something that's super exciting for me and I think for, for everyone else uh, on the team. Right, thank you, Appreciate you guys. Thank you.